fish off him and got a huge load of plants. What is up everybody and welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm so glad you are joining me today here on the channel. And yes, I went out shopping yesterday and I did a bulk of my shopping for the garden for this year and so i thought it would be fun just to kind of show you my plant haul and walk you through all the plants that i picked up so you can see what's going in my garden this year and i'll tell you if it's going in hanging baskets containers or in the ground so let me turn the camera around and we'll start looking at all the stuff we picked up okay so here is my plant haul for this year's garden um, now, I, this is not going to be everything I need, but this is going to be the bulk of everything that I need. And so, I just thought you, some of you might want to see kind of what I picked up this year um, and kind of my thought process behind some of this stuff. So, let's just jump right in here. Um, first off, we'll see this box here. You see I've got some Angelonia. That's orchid pink is the color, but it's really kind of a purpley blue. Um, and those are going to be in ground planted along with this orange celosia and this red celosia and these are the twisted celosias so we've got the red twisted and the orange twisted so all four of these things will be in the ground in the garden uh, the grapevine hyacinth um, will also be in the ground um, on either side of my swing arbor. And then the black-eyed Susan vines um, will be in the hanging baskets on the arbor along with this right here, which is Supertunia Vista Paradise. I mean, how cool is that? And so I thought that that paradise punchy pinky red color would be really pretty with the yellow black eyed susan vines um, and then what's going to happen is the black eyed susan vines will trail up the chain and go over and intermingle with the hyacinth vine and then those petunias those vista petunias will sweep down and it'll just be a good color over there um, in this box here, I've got two colias, as you can see, and I've got two petunias up front. Those are the first things you notice. These are the Vista Snowdrifts from Proven Winners. I mean, just beautiful. Um, and these are going to go in a container as well with the magnolia trees. This, if I get the camera to focus, is Fifth Avenue. So it's pretty enjoying it then i have a citronella a uh, mosquito plant it'll go into a pot over here at the patio i've got three angel wing begonias right here and if i jump over to this box i've got three orange begonias right there um, and those are going to be the centerpieces in my hanging baskets in the shade garden and they're going to be under planted with some of these right here which are Kauai mix of Torini. So you can see how pretty these are. And there are some blues and some pinks and some whites. Um, and I also have some impatience that uh, will go in and out the shade garden as well. All right, back over to this pot. Let's look at this right here, because this is a perennial for in the ground. And this is a Mirage Rose Bicolor Salvia. And I honestly picked this up because it is just gorgeous. So really pretty. So I'll find a spot to tuck him in over in the landscape. And then what do I got right here? Uh, oh. This is Supertunia Vista Fuchsia. So I got those to go into a pot as well. So there's two of those in there. Um, let's see, continuing out this one. We've got this one right here, which is a pineapple sage. And this is the Proven Winners. 
Um, and it's called Golden Delicious, uh, Rockin' Golden Delicious Pineapple Sage. Um, and so you can see the flowers that it will eventually put out. Now, pineapple sage blooms late in the season. So I won't get any blooms on this guy until probably sometime at the end of July. Um, and then those blooms will last until frost. But this uh, pineapple, oh, it smells so good. I wish we had smell-o-vision for YouTube. If you haven't smelled a, a pineapple sage before, if you don't have it in your garden, um, I highly recommend it. Some people stay clear of sages and salvias because they're poisonous to cats and stuff, but if that's not a concern for you, this one is amazing. You can see I've got some succulents down here. Um, these are for a succulent project that will be uh, releasing any day. All right, and back here I have a Calibrecoa, and this is a Super Bell's Rising Star from Proven Winners. Um, and you can see right there, Calibrecoa. So those are obviously for some containers as well. Um, now, Calibrecoas are different than Petunias, um, obviously in size, but they're also different in the fact that Calibrecoas do not like wet feet. So we let these dry out completely between waterings for their best um, performance. And they do much better in containers for that reason than they do in the ground. Um, if you have a very dry soil, you might can get them to do well in the ground for you. But typically in the south with clay soils, Calibrecoas did not perform well in the ground. So they're wonderful though in containers that are well drained. All right, let's jump right here. Um, I have, I'm sure you've all seen it, Dichondra Silver Falls. So this is for a hanging a wall basket. And then right here I have some tricolor sweet potato vine. Ipomia for uh, a planting. Um, these are actually going to go in the ground. So the Dichondra Silver Falls are going to go in the hanging basket right there, which is hard to see and the sweet potato vine is gonna go on this wall to spill over. All right, and right here we have, let me just pull the tag out, Australia Peach Verbena. So this is a good, um, for a basket, and I mean, and I picked it up just because that color is phenomenal. Just a pretty um, verbena, good for hanging baskets. Um, and I haven't decided what hanging basket these are going in yet, but they'll be somewhere. Let's jump back here to this tray. We'll start with the butterfly weed. So this is the Silky Deep Red Butterfly Weed, milkweed. Um, now, if you want monarchs, you have to have milkweed in your garden because um, that's their primary feed source as caterpillars and the mother monarch butterflies will only lay eggs on that plant. Um, so that is for my little um, butterfly garden area. And then this is also for that area. This is a Proven Winners Senorita Rosalita Cleome. Now this plant gets huge and those flowers, come. they do big spikes of flowers. If you've never uh, grown a Cleome before, um, or I think that's how I say it. You may say it differently. Um, just a beautiful plant. You can see this one is starting to bud up. And you can see it's doing that on a spike. But this plant will get two, three feet tall. Um, and it will put out those huge spikes of flowers. So it's a good one. And then right here for the shade garden, we have this beautiful, this is a Plectranthus. Velvet Elvis is the variety. Um, and now some of you have probably wondered about this tag. So this is an Arkansas Diamonds tag. Um, so this is not a proven winner's plant. It does come in a white pot. But this is a local um, certified plant that our state Department of Agriculture, it's a program that our Department of Agriculture here in Arkansas does. So plants that are certified to be um, good performers here in Arkansas. Um, growers can get these tags and send them out. So this is an Arkansas Diamonds preferred plant. 
So that tells us growers here in Arkansas that anything with an Arkansas Diamonds tag is going to perform extremely well for us here in any region of the state. All right, so right next to him is another verbena, and this is a proven winner's verbena. And this is Superbena White Out. So these get quite large, and you can see them there. Um, and those are going to go in the baskets on either side of the swing with the Black Eyed Susan and the Fuchsias. I thought just a white pop would help to ground those pots um, and give them a good, just a little, another texture. And then right back here, we have the tried and true, everybody's favorite, Super Tunia Vista Bubblegum. Um, these are going in the ground for me, and they get absolutely huge. So I'm looking forward to those. All right, guys, almost there. So we've already covered this one. So I've got two more things here. These are both celosias. So now these are, so these are the curlies. And then these are the regular ones. So I've got ice cream and cherry. And I have first flame purple. Um, so I'm just going to put these in the garden, just kind of around the border just for some pop just for a little fun and then i have two shrimp plants um, again these are arkansas diamonds preferred and you can see um, that they get those large yellow flowers on them and these are actually going to go in pots at the front door this year so there is a quick rundown of my 2021 plant haul um, the only thing that is not up here on the tailgate, which I'll show you, let me just walk over here, is right here, and that is a flat of impatience. So the pansies will come out of the wheelbarrow planter, and some patients will go there. I'll use some of the impatience in the hanging baskets in the shade garden, and the impatience will just be planted in ground all through the shade garden as well over behind the patio. So guys, that's my plant haul video for uh, today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing kind of the selections that I have made so far this year um, and to kind of see my thought process behind what I'm going to do with those things. Um, I know that that can always be kind of helpful to folks, especially if you are stuck and wondering what in the world you're going to be doing this year in your garden. So seeing a video like this where you see what other people have picked up and how they plan to use it um, can be quite inspirational. So I hope that if you are in that boat and not quite sure kind of what you're thinking about this year, maybe this video has been helpful for you. Um, and now if you wanna see those plants actually go into my baskets and the uh, combinations together, um, I will be filming those videos very quickly. So stay tuned to the channel. Um, hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. Um, and that'll notify you whenever I post a new video, you can see what's going on. So spring is in full force here in central Arkansas. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to shake the camera too bad. Spring is in full force here in central Arkansas, and it's time to plant. Our threat of last frost is over. Um, we could always have a freak storm, but it's, it's, the forecast is looking good. So it's time to start putting annuals in the ground here and getting our tender annuals in our pots and tropicals can come outside. So it's a wonderful time of year. And I just, I'm excited for it. And I know most of you are excited as well. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Maybe you found it inspirational. Um, come back and check out future videos. I would love to have you come and see what we're getting up to here at the garden. Um, but until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening. Mm -hmm.